I'm Jashi Kins, and welcome to another little vlog review. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing Supernatural Season 11. And I'm sorry about the little, you know, delay, but I was going to do this vlog around Thursday, but I was sick and my voice just was not good at all, so... Here we go. Now, for one of the three things I want to talk about this season is the darkness was a fucking awesome villain. You learned about her. You sort of pitied her position. And you could understand where she was coming from. She was God's sister that was trapped, you know, as God was creating everything and so that's a you know you'd be fucking pissed if you know for a long long time you just couldn't do anything you were locked up you know of course she'd want revenge who the fuck wouldn't who the fuck would go oh i know this cage now so um, I, I don't hate anyone who trapped me i'm just fine i'm just fine <laughs> i mean no one is really like that at all and besides being you know sort of complex there she was a fucking badass near the end of the season they keep you know everyone keeps on trying to figure out how exactly to defeat her and each way they try again and again and again, there's there just seems to be no way to actually defeat this creature. It's like they finally found something they couldn't defeat. And so as a last ditch effort, they put a little basically a soul bomb inside Dean. And then Dean would and was supposed to go into the to the darkness and then let that explode once he got close enough. And that was because there was this whole relationship between Dean and the darkness. Sort of a really good, nice love-hate thing. And of course, at the end of the season, Dean's life is in danger at all. I mean, okay, okay, you could say, well, <coughs> Well, this season there was this whole Grim Reaper thing where the Grim Reaper's like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I am not bringing you back to life ever again. Death loved you, but I'm not helping you out at all. But even with that, you know, there's going to be... Yeah, they aren't exactly dying until the end of the series. So, so you know, Dean was always going to be okay. But how the, the darkness you know, thing was resolved was just, I mean, okay, so she made up with God again, and they went away somewhere to, you know, reconnect and shit, and, but still, it was sort of a lousy, I was like, I wanted to season end with at least it seeming like Dean might be dead for good, but you know, no. Another thing is Misha, Fuck, I'm probably mispronouncing his name. Misha, Misha Collins, Col Collins, Misha Collins was fucking great as Lucifer. It was actually really great to actually see him play a crazy villainous role because he really shined then. That's probably my favorite performance by him on the show because it looked like he was having a great time as the character, a great time to be evil and just, it was fucking awesome. And I'm just, you know, yeah, it was, it was awesome. <laughs> it was, okay, I'm just going to keep on repeating that. But basically what happens in the season, oh yeah, it's a spoiler alert. Basically, what happened in the season was that 
Lucifer said, hey, I'm, I defeated the darkness once before. I can help you guys defeat the darkness again. And so <laughs> Castiel was like, yeah, okay. If you need to take me as your vessel, I'm going to, uh, I'm okay with that. I just really need to defeat this, this great evil. And yeah, so that's how that happens. I mean, even before the reveal that Lucifer took over Castiel, it was, it was sort of obvious. I was like, that's of course what's going to happen. But yeah, it was a kudos to you, Misha Collins, or however the fuck you pronounce your name. You did, that was a great job. Your best performance on the show was as Beck, as Lucifer. <laughs> and finally, this really should have been Supernatural's final season. Because you, it's like, not you, but you know, the show just went with God's sister as the main antagonist for the season, and you can't really go much bigger than that. I mean, at the end of the season, it turns out that uh, this, like, the Men of Letters, the British division or whatever, is, are sort of mad at Dean and Sam, and it's just like, we just fucking got through a season with the darkness, with God's sister, with one of the biggest fucking badasses of all time that God decided to, you know, leave out of everything. Now, it's, so no one knew about the darkness or the truth about the mark of Cain being to hold back the darkness. <sighs> Not this season at, at once had a great, great villain, but should have been reserved for the final season because you can't really go bigger than this. You can't. I, I mean, I hope the next season is good, but I am not expecting as big a villain as The Darkness. And it seems that to be a thing that with a show like this, you keep on having to up and up and up the ante. Make there a reason why you're worried. Worried about everything. With The Walking Dead, <laughs> uh, Negan was introduced in the comic. I'm saying in the sh show The Walking Dead, I'm going to comics, but with the 100th issue of the comics of The Walking Dead, uh, Negan was brought in to help, you know, regain the interest. And, you know, so it's sort of the same thing with this show like Supernatural. You keep on having to up the ante so that people will keep on wanting to watch and watch and watch. So, my final thoughts on Supernatural Season 11. All in all, like, the when they focus on the main plot of the season it was fucking amazing but the, the the punch of filler episodes just tended to fall flat especially I can't remember the name of the episode but the one where it's like Sam dies and it's like oh my god is Sam dead is Dean dead and it's like they blew their load too early well, not really too early, but all at once. It, it, it's just like, come on, guys. Just don't do that once like that. We're just going to do this episode to get that little subplot all over with. And, like, the season ends with you know, Sam being shot. I was like, oh, no, I hope he doesn't die. But, yeah, that son of fillers. Fuck. But, um... What are your your thoughts on Supernatural Season 11? Do you think that they really should continue another season? Or do you think the series should have stopped with this season? Please comment below and let me know your opinions. 
Now let's start a nice nerdy conversation for once. Yay, maybe people actually watch me. Yay. Anyways, I have been Jashikin's owner of jashikins.blogspot.com. And if you go to my nice little bloggy blog, there are lots of stuff to, you know, read and watch and shit. And uh, recently I've been really keen on writing a fic called Between Two Worlds. So there's a thousand one post of each chapter being released of one. Sometimes it's like a chapter day. If <laughs> And a little fucking that case there. <laughs> and if you go on the sidebar thingy of my bloggy blog, you can vote in a poll. Currently, the poll is what is your t favorite TV show? Uh, there's also still the Dragon Wayne to be named. And I'm actually doing surveys now, and the current one is sort of a yearly blog check thing. And so, you know, help me figure out what to do with my blog and, you know, why I'm doing right, why I'm doing wrong. So different surveys will come up now and again. So always focusing on blog stuff. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. I write a web series called Chronicles of Gaia. It's sci-fi, post-apocalyptic. And you know, if you, if you just want to read it for free you can't but if you want bonus content or you just want a few chapters before they're fully released on the blog you need to you know donate to my patreon and if you want to donate to my patreon but don't really care about chronicles of gaia you know don't worry every month uh for one dollar a month you get uh, updates on my upcoming ebooks, and for five dollars a month, a thirty-minute vlog, and for the the goal, you know, the the milestone or goal, whatever. Now it's basically once I reach it, the most popular, you know, topic for me to cover will be covered. So basically, sort of choose your own post thing, and every now and again, I you. You'll all release exclusive Patreon exclusive reviews. So, yay! <laughs> and I do writing commissions via Fiverr, and I have a nice cafe press shop where you can buy my shit. Sometimes it's actually good. It's always good. What do I mean? And until next video, goodbye.